My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I think we have one of the best 1980 Trans Am pace cars in existence. This is a 14,000 mile all original Survivor and it's in really nice shape. And it, these cars come loaded with options, they're really attractive. Uh, and this one here comes with all the paperwork. We got the window sticker, it has so many options, it actually went on to two pages. It's old frail paper, but uh, here we go. Two window stickers right there. Comes with all sorts of other uh, original paperwork. The pouch from the glove box uh, full of all the manuals and, and documentation. It's a two owner car. It was sold in 2013 from the original owner. They knew it was something special. They treated it like that since day one. It was always a Sunday car kept in the garage taken real good care of. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, and that's where you find the price tags on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, join me, let's go for a spin. So I usually talk about the underside first. Uh, underneath this car is just all original. It's like you would expect for a nice clean Survivor. It's not uh, glamorous. It's not gloss black and shiny and clear coated. It's left original. But there is zero rot. It's all clean metal. Uh, all the components are the way they should be. Everything looks proper. Now these Trans Am Pace cars, they came with a special handling package, uh, which this has, it also has four wheel disc brakes. Uh, it's a turbo 350 automatic transmission that's in there. And you can look at the picture, it's just a nice, well-preserved original. <clears throat> the body is excellent on this car. You can have a low mile car and it can still be full of all sorts of issues, but this thing is really straight. Uh, I don't see door dings. I don't see where they backed it into the garage wall. Um, everything is straight, no damage, no rust. Everything still fits just as it did when it left the factory. It's the original paint on the car. That's what was claimed by the owners. Uh, I just went around best I could checking you know, uh, for tape lines or overspray. I couldn't see anything like that. I do believe it's original paint and overall still in really nice shape. All the pace cars have this special color combination, which I think is sharp, the white with the red and the charcoal. Now the gray is kind of cloudy up here, like it's rubbed a little thin. So this gray is a little cloudy. Overall, the bird is in really nice shape. Uh, the nose is really nice. Sometimes they bump the corners and they're damaged or cracked, but that looks really nice. The hood fits real good. The spoiler here is excellent. All the tape, <clears throat> all the decals are real nice. Windshield's crystal clear, sport mirrors. Now these decals would come in a box. Not everyone wanted them. I'll show you the box in a minute. It still has the original dealer's uh, name on the box and uh, that the stickers came in. This rubber right up here on top of the door is brittle. There's a little chunk missing right there. The weather strips around the T-tops and doors are excellent. The black trim, sometimes the paint flakes off. That's real nice. Rear window defroster. Inside the speaker tray, uh, the factory speaker grills, all that's real nice. This all looks excellent. All looks good. Rear bumper, just like the front. No damage, looks real good. Tail lights, pretty sharp looking tail light. You don't even see the tail lights uh, until they light up. Has the exhaust splitter tips. These are the original tires. The original tires, they've never been changed. 15 by eight wheels, painted white. 
Uh, they're silver tinted T-tops that came on all the Pace cars. Giant doors, aren't they? They put mud flaps on there. It saved the car from getting all chipped up. So the motors, 4.9 liter V8 turbocharged. And it's just as it left the factory. A lot of times a guy takes the air cleaner off and a hose or a tube gets left off or you know, it's laying on his bench. Everything is here. The smog equipment is still hooked up and it's actually really nice for a survivor. Again, I've seen it with no miles where this is all rusty or uh, greasy or mice living in here. This is all very clean. It has power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, cruise control. The interior is original. The door jams are real nice. There's like a nick here in the rubber, but it's soft and good. Trunk compartment is a time capsule. It's perfectly clean metal, has the black carpet, has the collapsible spare, never used, so has the ink stamp, has the complete jack assembly with the air bottle to fill the tire. All of that is still mounted properly. This is the box. Uh, Nelson Brothers Pontiac uh, is who it's addressed to. And actually, they even have the backing uh, of the stickers are still in the box here. And it has the Fisher body, uh, the bags that the T-tops go in. One T-tops in here. The trunk light works. The paint's real nice. The rubber is like brand new in the trunk. Something that's very cool. I just stuck my hand underneath the driver's seat. The build sheet is still there. I can feel it. I'm just going to leave it there for the next owner to decide if he wants to take it out. Uh, but this car has not been rummaged through. Uh, the inside of the car is original and is practically brand new looking. It's a deluxe interior. Uh, you can see it's oyster, they call it, with the black hobnail of uh, cloth inserts. Carpet's excellent, not smoked in. There's no cigarette burns on the console. The ashtray and cigarette lighter are clean. 100% stock. They didn't add any CB radios or speakers in the doors. It's stock. No cracks on the dash. The machine turned trim is sparkling. Full set of gauges. Leather wrapped uh, formula wheel is mint. It's on a tilt column. The headliner is drooping a little bit at the top. That's what these cars did back then. Uh, the little bit of foam layer in there just disintegrates and the headliner drops. Other than that, it's like brand new. <clears throat> power windows, power locks, all the interior lights work. The clock is working. Uh, has delayed wipers. Heater control panels real nice. Has the deluxe stereo in its day. That was really cool. Digital. Uh, AM FM stereo cassette and on the dash there's a switch for audio boost. Uh, seat belts are mint. Boy yeah it's just an excellent shape and you got lights out here on the hood. Uh, normal, medium and high. It tells you how, how hard the turbo is working. So the higher you rev it the more that's going to light up. In this folder we got the original metal tag from the original dealer. Uh, so yeah, really nice car. Comes with extra keys in here. This is a collectible piece. I've not seen them going down in value, that's for sure. These are going up. It's a very desirable car. Attractive, loaded with options, and uh, probably one of the nicer survivors that are still left in the country. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to a salesman. They'll assist you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get financed. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. thanks for watching.